It's uh, Jerry DeLamis and Mac Rose. And uh, we're uh, uh, going to uh, discuss the uh, war in Ukraine when, uh, with the accusations that uh, Ukraine missiled Poland. And uh, just uh, if you like, uh, subscribe. It's down below. Thanks. This incident has dramatically brought home to all of us how dangerous this war is and the risks of much greater escalation that won't go away for as long as the war continues. The backdrop dangerous is the day war. that saw more than 90 missiles fired by Russia at targets across Ukraine. It says it shot down 77 of them. Among the targets was Lviv, just 72 kilometres south of Fajer Vadouf, where the explosion happened. Most of the Russian strikes on Ukraine yesterday seem to have been KH-101 and KH-555 cruise missiles and some Iranian suicide drones which have been used by Russia since October. But the explosion that killed two Poles inside the Polish border is now thought to have been caused by an S-300 anti-aircraft missile developed by the Soviets but used by the Ukrainians as air defence. You can see it here from Russian military drills back in 2018, but the Ukrainians have the same technology. Now, last night, an unnamed US intelligence official claimed it had been a Russian missile. That would have been the first Russian attack on a NATO country, and it triggered a sequence of events. The Polish government convened a National Security Council meeting on NATO, gathered information on what had happened. Only this morning did Poland and NATO conclude that the incident was probably an accident. This is what NATO does. It's, it's been what it's been doing since 1949. You know, in this case of the Cold War, um, you know, the, the consequence of miscalculation was very, very high. In the Ukraine situation, again, with missile going um, over the territory to a NATO border, I mean, it, it is a risk, but also, like I said, there's a bespoke options for dealing with these. It could have been so much more serious. There have been other near misses. In May, Russia bombed the Ukrainian region of Zakarpattia, just 100 kilometres from NATO member Slovakia's border with Ukraine. And last month, a Russian fighter jet released a missile near a British aircraft over the Black Sea because of a technical malfunction. If that had been hit, it would have been grounds for an invocation of Article 5 of the NATO Treaty, requiring all member nations defend Britain, potentially leading to all-out war. NATO and the UK say ultimately Russia is to blame for last night's incident. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't waging war on Ukraine. It was an accident, but it's highlighted dramatically the dangers of this conflict and how easily it could escalate. Okay. That's crazy. It is. Wars are dangerous? That's, uh, wow, I never, I didn't know that. And, uh, <laughs> well, here's what I don't understand. How did, okay, this doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe I'm just missing something here. But the truth. Poland is the wrong uh, is in the wrong direction. How did Ukraine missile Poland? Well, they were probably uh, shooting from uh, uh, no vowels in, in Russian language, but uh, at Lviv, I guess it is, and uh, they were probably shoot aiming at a missile that was coming in. And uh, oh. let's see, where would have they? Where well, here's they, Russia. Maybe they weren't shooting from Lviv. Maybe they were shooting from somebody else. Did they say they were shooting from Lviv? Or I didn't catch. I didn't catch that if they did or didn't. Where they said. Right, I mean, here's them. here's Russia over here. Oh, I would think it would be more of a Russian missile hitting Poland than, uh, than right. a Ukrainian missile. Right. And uh, any city that they shoot from, they would have had to shoot in this direction. So if okay, I got a question. So if Ukraine. Shot the missile, right? Or shot yeah. two missiles, wasn't it? Was, was, yeah, no, it, it was yeah. a couple strikes. Yeah, two people missiles, died for right? sure. If they shot them and they went into Poland, uh, Ukraine's not in NATO. Right. And uh, so then you're, what they're reporting is that Ukraine attacked a NATO country. Right. Right? They yeah. Think about it, right? Yeah. But it, well, it's okay because, well, it was an accident. Uh, yeah, it was an accident, right? Yeah. Yeah. With a couple of misses. And uh, uh, the, re the reality is, is, is Ukraine didn't want to be part of NATO. They want to be part of NATO now because they've right. got Russia invading them and breathing down their throat. They were part of the USSR and uh, 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 the communist bloc that they caused the, the free world's trouble forever. And uh, uh, so it's... it's uh, uh, and actually, I, I believe that they were, they're, uh, they're corrupt as hell. And, uh, and I think, I mean, Biden's son was there and, uh, uh, 
making money off of it. So, you know, it was corrupt. Mm-hmm. And uh, this whole thing just stinks. Yeah. This whole thing just stinks. I mean, and, uh, you know, I don't wish anybody ill. And, uh, but, uh, 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 if I'm you know, just looking at this, because obviously we have little to no information that they're actually given us. But to me, but it seems dangerous. like. Right, right. Obvi- yeah, that, that, that's they, the extent they, of the information. We're dangerous. Um, it, my only thought is that Ukraine would have done it purposely, knowing the media would have ran with it. It was Russia's fault. Russia did it. And to drag us in the all of NATO into the end of the fight. Because as right. of now, NATO is not directly getting involved. That like would have done it. Talking. Right. In, in Vietnam, when the uh, North Vietnamese Army uh, or Navy attacked the, the U.S. fleet and uh, tried to sink our carriers and such over there, and then we ended up invading uh, Vietnam and ended up in a war there for losing 57, 58,000 American lives. And so uh, we just got to be careful what we get drugged into. And uh, yeah. this whole Ukraine thing, I mean, you see Ukrainian flags up on people's poles, even, <laughs> you know, you drive down the road, it's like, what you're Ukrainian? Um, right. Oh, maybe they maybe they are Ukrainian, but it's just it, it, this whole rush to war thing drives me nuts. We mm-hmm. did the same thing with Afghanistan, Iraq, yep. and all. And uh, and what good has any of it done other than feed the military industrial complex and end up taking away our rights? Yep. And it costs us a ton of money. And uh, I mean, I'm all for a. For a line in the ground and not a line in the sand. I'm thinking if you're going to put a line somewhere, put it there. If you're putting it for a reason. Don't step across this line. And uh, but uh, uh, we're continually scuffing out the line and moving it. And uh, and and what is our interest in Ukraine? Right. I mean, I, what? I have no idea. What, I, it's I, a Black Sea port for a warm water port for Russia. Right. Uh, they like to have it. Uh, they had it for decades. Right. And, uh, um, you know, where is Poland and the rest of them in all that uh, and defending their neighbor? Uh, uh, if they don't like it, you know, de- defend your neighbor. And uh, if, if it's that important to you, they're not our neighbor. Yeah, I don't think they can because of the the, the the way that NATO treaties drafted. Because if oh. Poland decided to run into Ukraine and said, we're going to do this, that would drag all of us into it. So everybody's got to agree who's a member. Yeah. And, mm. you know, uh, I, unless they get hit with a missile or two. Right. Right. Well, you're right. Because then that would drag us in, in advert, it, it, automatically. So I don't, I don't know. That's kind of how world war one started. Right. It, and, it, uh, it, yeah. And, uh, world war two kind of too. Archduke got shot. Right. Got assassinated. And then, uh, 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 and uh, Britain jumped in, France jumped in, everybody jumped in because they're all allies. Yep. And uh, uh, next thing you know, you've got this monster war going on. I don't trust it. I don't, I don't, I don't either. Trust it. Anything I've heard about Ukraine, I don't know that that president is a good guy. I mean, he's certainly good with photos, and uh, but he's a TV guy. I mean, he's, yeah. he was an actor, and uh, so uh, I, I just don't know. And uh, and it's not. Not that there are people suffering there, because it's always yeah. It's not. I mean, people yeah, who it's, suffer. Yeah, it's not the Ukrainian people. This is not about that. It's the Ukrainian government. I trust right. them about as much as I trust the U.S. government. Well, None you know, at the, all. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, European Union was trying to, when they had when we helped them uh, throw out their duly elected president is uh, because. Uh, he didn't want to get into the EU, the European Union. Right. And then he got bounced with our help uh, out, of, out of Ukraine. And uh, then they we helped through with the EU to get another the other president in. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they're over there just playing uh, politics. There's it's a big chess game. Right. And, uh, uh, and uh, I don't think I really want to play in that in that particular game in that in that field. And I can't think of a reason why one American citizen should ever die or be in harm's way because of Russia and Ukraine right. uh, having, a, having, a, having a spat. And I would uh, actually, this is something I would like to ask the people that are going to watch this. What do you guys think of that, that what, not just the, the Ukraine and Russia 
uh, standoff, the battle, the war, but also the Ukraine hitting Poland. Do you guys have any information? Share some links down there if you can. Uh, like and subscribe. And yeah, I, got a, uh, I got a question. Yeah. Now, what's that matter if they did? If I they mean, did other what? than the two people getting killed, that's a tragedy. I acknowledge that. But what if they did? What if Russia did? If they if, if a couple of their missiles overshot, it happens. Right. And uh, uh, it, uh, so I can I mean, tell you right that, now, that they're going to go to war. They're going to give. War? Well, that's the way that the the way that they're playing it off right now is that you, the Ukraine's Ukraine's going to be given forgiveness for accidental it's firing that. missiles. And if it was Russia that accidentally fired a missile into Poland, it would have been unforgivable. And if we would have went to war, a hundred percent, look at the way the media is pushing it. And wow. And so, yeah, I, I mean, the, anti-Bolshevik, <laughs> right? anti-Bolshevik. I mean, uh, let's we'll see, we got anti-white, anti-black, anti-Semitism, anti-Bolshevik, I suppose. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's Leninism all over yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it's a dangerous dangerous game they're playing. I mean, they're using yep. real bullets, uh, real weaponry, and uh, people are dying and they're blowing stuff up. And uh, uh, it's uh, uh, there's a lot more to this than we know. Oh, hundred percent. Politically speaking, absolutely, Putin there is. And uh, and and uh, Ukraine, and uh, and there are there are things. I mean, you think about it. If 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 Mexico decided to join. Oh, China and join and be uh, and join the uh, CCP, and they were going to have a president right. who was it was in line with the CCP, and he was going to join the, the the Communist Party. Uh, what do you think our government would be saying about that? You know, would be like that's our neighbor to run on our border, right? Right, and because uh, 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 America's big on sticking their nose in business, you know, and then right. saying one thing about them and then doing the same thing ourselves is because uh, we got to be careful. And uh, uh, and uh, and how we how we react to that type of stuff. And uh, uh, I don't I don't feel as though I have a dog in the fight to be personally right. uh, uh, truthful about it. And uh, and I not that I want to see anybody suffer because I certainly don't. And, right. Uh, but uh, it's not our war. I haven't seen Ukraine ever lift a finger to help us in a war. I don't right. remember a war that the Ukraine helped no. us. And uh, I mean they're not like sending their national guard down to the border between us and Mexico to keep us from getting that invasion of illegal immigrants. Um, I don't know. I, it's, uh, I don't remember them serving with us in, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, uh France when we we're fighting the Germans or, and, uh, I just I don't remember that, but, uh, we'll see. Yeah. But yeah. Comment guys. Uh, let us know what you guys think about this whole situation and yeah. See you guys on the next one.